Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today what we're going to do is we're going to retire my two Epson printer. Okay, these are actually two different models. The first one is the L355 and the other one is the L385. The L355 is I think around 8 years old printer of mine because the reason I purchased this printer is to print my own wedding invitation card and this uses a continuous ink system so it will be cheaper to print my invitation card using this printer. And after that one, we move in my wife and I move into another house and of course, we want to buy a new printer for us and to print documents and other activities for my kids. So we purchased this one. This is actually around four years old already and it's actually great. And the reason why I chose like almost the same model is because I like the print quality of these printers. Epson is actually good uh, on delivering those images or photos even though this only has a for ink tanks, it's not the six ink tanks for uh, intended for actual photo quality image, but this is actually acceptable and it's actually good. And of course, not everything is okay with this printer. Uh, the things that I don't like is they are not able to print borderless image or document on these printers. And uh, I believe uh, when I try to print a photo on a photo paper, uh, one concern is that I always see a dotted line. It's not actually an ink, but it's more of a pinch of the paper. There is actually, I think, a needle that pinches the uh, photo paper, and that happens every time I try to print on a photo paper. But that is barely noticeable if you're not actually looking super close or uh, uh, not super close and meticulously looking at the image and inspecting for imperfection but it's actually good that print quality is good aside from those and another thing that i'm going to replace this printer is because uh sometimes there are instances when i try to print a document or an image there is a leftover ink at the bottom of the page which is i really don't like it's not good looking so we decided to purchase a new printer and that printer today is the canon Pixma G3010 and hopefully this will solve everything that I don't like with the Epson printer. But don't get me wrong, the Epson printer is actually good. Uh, one of my choices is the Epson L3250. I believe it's 3250 and this one. So we decided to go to Canon and purchase this one because Let's try other brand if they are actually good for printing photos and documents. So without further ado, let us try to unbox this printer. Okay, we have here the power cord. And of course, it also has a uh, cable, USB cable to printer. I'm not sure what the, this thing is called. And aside from that one, Oh, I'm sorry with that one. It came with a, uh, the ink, printer ink, which is, I think this is dye. It's not pigment ink. We have a cyan, uh, yellow, and magenta. Okay, and we also have here a black ink. And actually, the black ink is much bigger compared to the colored inks. Okay, and of course, we have here two of the print heads. I think this is the print heads compared to the Epson printer that we don't need to install the print heads. We just need to put the ink directly on the ink tank and it works great. But for this one, there is an additional step that we're going to do later on. And aside from that one, we have here a Yes, a document, it's not a configuration manual. We have here, okay, safety and information. And of course, we have here the getting started. Then, of course, we have the spring curtain here. And we have here the 
Canon printer. And of course, let's try to check the other things. Okay, this is where you would put the paper and the scanner. And of course, let's try to remove these things. Ah, okay. I think this is where you place the ink cartridge. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry for that one. Okay, this is for the black and this is for the colored ones. And I'm going to configure the printer heads. Okay, guys, and right now there is a letter coding on this print head, which is this one is letter B and the other one, I believe it's letter C. And of course, we also have that one label on the printer. And maybe there, this is where we actually put them. And let's try to remove the tape on this one. Okay. Oh my god, I removed this one. Is this actually still needed? Or maybe no. Okay. And aside from the one, let's try to put this in. B. Okay, and okay, we need to pull this lever up to make this latch go up. And of course, we're going to remove the tape in here. Okay, this is for letter B. And hopefully we... Okay, I forgot, you need to peel this up as well. Pull. Okay, and I'm going to put the pin header and the other one as well okay we're going to remove the print head and of course this one and this one is for the letter c okay i hope that is it and i think we need to lock it here and aside from that one, we're going to insert this. And we emptied the first ink, which is black. Close this one. And of course, the other color as well. And we all emptied the yellow one. And next will be this. Side. Magenta. And now we're going to write configure this one and print on this printer. After several weeks of testing the printer, there are a lot of things that I have discovered First, let us try to check the photo print performance. I have two pictures here and try to look closely which is actually better. Okay, the left one or the borderless is printed from the Canon printer, while the right one is printed from the Epson printer. For my thoughts, honestly, I like the print from the Epson printer which is brighter compared to the Canon printer. And here is the actual image file that I have created. Now, let us check the second set of images. Definitely, you will notice that the borderless is still a Canon print, while the one with border is actually from Epson. At this point in time, I was really disappointed with the outcome since the image is actually dark from the Canon printer. So I tried to tinker with the settings and this is the result of adjusting some of the settings. There is a huge improvement in the photo and it got brighter and I really like it. 
it seems that there are many things that you can do with the Canon Inter to change the actual output. For the roller mark stick, it's the same with the Epson printer. Every time I try to print on a photo paper, there is a roller mark on the image or the photo. For the settings, there is a lot that you can do, but for me, it is not actually friendly compared to the Epson printer. But maybe I'm just accustomed with the Epson printer because I'm using it for the longest time. And let us try to check in the future if I retain this printer or get another brand. For the print quality, I think it is on par with the Epson printer. You just need to play with the settings. Now, the biggest issue that I have with this printer is the wireless connectivity. The reason why I purchased this printer is so I can place it anywhere in the house. But it seems if you have a mesh network, you will encounter a lot of issues. It will always connect to the main mesh router node, even though it is actually far away from that main router node. And additionally, if I place it just beside a mesh node, the mesh node in my bedroom, it will still connect to another node. And that is actually troublesome because when you try to print or scan, it won't push through and you will encounter this error. So I gave up on placing it on my room and place it near the main router. But again, there are instances that I'm encountering a failed scan or print. Then another is standby mode. I always left the printer on so I can print anytime I want, but there will be instances that it won't print unless you restart the printer. Enough with the hate. It's not actually hate. Those are my observations. And some of you might say that the network is unstable or it is actually a network issue. I have a great ASUS mesh network and I do wireless network reviews. So I believe I have a stable and great network and I'm using my other devices. It is working great with mesh technology, even the Epson printer. I can place it anywhere and still print without having any issues. For my recommendation, if you are looking for a budget all-in-one printer, this performs great in printing, scanning, or in photo happy. But if you have a mesh network, I would stay away from this printer. But if you have a single Wi-Fi router, this is okay. And I will still recommend this one if you have a single or standalone Wi-Fi router. And I think that is all. If you have comment and suggestion, comment down below or message me at jkchavis.fb. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and bye.